Okay guys, today we are going to, this tutorial is going to tell you about the basis of MS Excel plus we will be doing various formulas in MS Excel. The formulas which we will be doing will be sum, min, max, average, count and last one is the if function. So let's start with the basis of MS Excel. When you click on the file here, you are get few fun few features of ms excel one is new open save and save as so new will open your new workbook for you open will open the existing workbook save will overwrite the workbook which you are already working on and save as will save the workbook with the new name and and at the desired path so let's start let's start work let's start a bit about excel Starting with Excel, first you need to know is what is a column num column name and the row number. These A, B, C, D, E. These are known as your columns. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are known as your rows. And intersection of row and column is known as your cell. Every cell in MS Excel has a cell address. How do you know that cell address? It is the combination of column name as well as the row number. So this cell which I am already highlighting here, this is your cell C5. How do you know that? It's C is your column and 5 is your row number. And the current uh, and the cell with the bold black boundary, the is known as your active cell and the cell address of the active cell will be shown in the name box here so and this is your formula bar this whole is the I'm sorry this whole the gray light gray one this is known as your ribbon so let's start about a working on a bit of Excel but before that you need to know two more concepts one is your worksheet and the workbook workbook is just like your book in everyday life and worksheet is a page on in that particular book so worksheet you can add more worksheets by clicking on these plus signs here like this you can uh, add the worksheets as you can already see the worksheets have been added in your workbook in case you want to change the sheet name rename the sheet you just need to right click on that particular sheet it will open up the you have to right click on that particular sheet this is my sheet one sheet two you have to right click on that sheet it will open uh, when you right click on that sheet it will open up your menu and this menu will allow you to insert delete rename move or copy the worksheets uh, so, uh, now let's start a bit about formatting in MS Excel. How do you go with formatting? This I have entered a bit of data in order to show you how to go with formatting in MS Excel. First, you need to select the data on which you want to apply the formatting. And then you can change the background color of the cells, the text color of the data and you can change the font style font size bold italic underline the alignment these are the six alignments provided to you text wrap wrapping of text in a particular cell merge and center these are all the alignments provide these are all the formatting features which are provided to you in ms excel so let me give get a bit of formatting for you guys okay for formatting first you need to select the data which you need to which you need to format select the data and i am changing the background color of the cells like this and and if you want to give the borders to the cells you just have to select it like this and these are your all your borders provided to you you can change the line color line style you can do all these things before applying borders to your cells and if I I'm sorry my data has not been selected so first I have to select these cells on which I have to apply the border and after doing that I am using this all borders option and you can see borders have already been applied 
Now, related to alignment of the data in the cells, you can provide any type of alignment. This is your center alignment, left alignment, right alignment. Okay, and related to your wrap text, how do you do the wrapping of text? Wrapping of text is important when you want to contain more, uh, more uh, value into a smaller cell. Suppose you can take this row number. I am decreasing the column width of this row number. See, it is going like this. If I go here and if I say wrap text, it has already been contained in this particular cell. That is the advantage of wrap text. I'm doing control Z because I want my earlier formatting back. So I'm doing control Z. Now let's talk a bit about merge and center. Merge and center is basically used to combine the group of cells together and getting the data in between those cells. Suppose I'm selecting this. I want the title for this. I want the ti I want the title for this particular uh, worksheet so how am I going to do it I'm going to select the data and I'm saying merge and center as you can already as you can see the cells have been merged and I'm giving the title like grade 9 result sheet and this is how I'm going uh, this is the use of merge and center I'm selecting it here and after doing it, I'm increasing the font size. I'm changing the font style from here. This is the use of merge and merge and center. So now related to your text orientation, sometimes you would like to have your text not in a horizontal fashion, but you, you would like to change the orientation of your text in the cells. So let's do a bit about it. Suppose I want the orientation of these cells to be changed. I'm selecting this. I'm changing orientation to angle, angle counterclockwise. And you can see the orientations of the cell data has already been changed. I'm getting back to my old orientation because I find this much better. So let's now work with the formulas in MS Excel. Before working with the formulas, the concept which you need to know is your cell range. Cell range. Now let's talk a bit about cell range. You already know this is your one cell. What if we select group of contiguous cells together? Now this is known as your cell range. Cell range can be horizontal, vertical or diagonal. So how do you define a cell range? Suppose you have a horizontal cell range like this. You select group of cells horizontally. So you have to take the first cell and the last of the selected cells. Suppose I have taken the first cell. The cell address is C3. I'm so sorry. The, this has been deselected. I'm selecting it again. It's C5 to j5 so how do you write the cell range c5 colon j5 this is how you define a cell range it can be vertical as well if you come here vertically so you can define the cell range vertically and as well as you can define it diagonally as well diagonally it will in this case it will be from f6 to o15 so this is how you define the cell range now getting back to our original uh, sheet let's talk about some min max average if and uh, percentage and count as well we'll be doing all this so let's start with some here please ensure and please keep reminding yourself that the formula always starts with equals to sign equals to sum bracket open suppose i want to take some from here shift colon and I'm so sorry and it'll come to here and I'm closing the circular brackets here and I'm putting the enter key so see as you can already see the sum function has worked and you can see this is your formula bar and formula bar displays the sum in that particular cell which is currently selected so uh, here in this case 
it is showing the cell is showing you the result and formula bar is showing you the formula and how do you want how will you copy paste it you have to use autofill feature to copy paste it in all the cells percentage percentage one or the other way it works same as your average but you need to know how to make your own formulas in ms excel other than some min max average and count so suppose percentage in mathematics percentage is like total number of marks divided by total marks and in 200 so how are you going to implement it in excel equals to suppose this is my total i am taking total divided by total number of marks are 400 and into i am taking as 100 and i am putting enter key this is how you take out the percentage and i am dragging it here so that it can be applied for maximum taking out the maximum equals to max again you have to work with cell range coming here putting colon and and coming up to your sst data and putting a enter key you are getting the maximum marks here for copying it you can again use this for minimum equals to min <coughs> i'm sorry so clear bracket open again from here shift colon and i am coming here and i'm putting it like this and closing the circular bracket and dragging it and coming like this and same for average equals to average please ensure that the spelling is correct circular bracket close hit the enter key and this is how you are going to manage with this okay now related to your if function equals to if if is basically used to apply a particular condition on the data i'm applying the condition on on let's say average i want to uh, i want to see on on average i want to say that below 40 percent marks the the student is failing and above 40 marks the student is passed so what i'm going to do is i'm take going to take the cell address here clicking on the cell address greater than equals to 40 so if it's greater than equals to 40 it's pass else it's fail and i'm okay i've made a mistake in typing the formula it has auto corrected itself and i'm dragging it here and see all have passed now the last function is your count function count function the use of count function is that it counts the number of entries in the cells i am taking the vertical cell range here equals to count open here colon and i am coming here and i'm closing the circular brackets and it is showing me 15 that means all the cell addresses which are in the cell range they have all together they are 15 entries so uh, this is all about your excel the last but not the least i'm going to tell you about is cut copy and paste so how do you cut copy and paste in excel so first select the data which you want to cut select the data right click i'm so sorry select the data you can use the keyboard shortcut Control x as soon as you will use Control x you can go to some other sheet where you want to paste the data select it and say Control v and see this is how the data is is moved from one sheet to another sheet you can always use con copy and paste control c for copy and control v for paste now suppose i want to suppose i forgot to enter the marks of a particular subject i want to insert a new column here 
so how are you am i going to insert a new column select the column where do you want to insert the column and click on insert here okay so all of my this data was selected that's why those number of columns were inserted right at the start before the selected column i want to get back i'm saying control z suppose you want to insert a particular row select select that particular row and say insert and you can see the call the row is inserted below that selected row this is how you insert the rows and columns if you don't like it you can use control z to undo your undo your action okay this is about the basis of base basics of ms excel and what we have learned is we have learned the formulas formatting and basic please get back to me in case you have got any doubts and i request all of you to please ensure that you uh, practically implement all these uh, things so that you you learn things better in ms excel thank you very much and bye